everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I was just about ready to do my video and I thought, you know, I've got to go get the mail. Jim usually brings the mail in, but he didn't bring it in before he left for work. He's working second shift. So that so I'm doing this by myself. But anyways, when I went out to the mailbox, I got a letter in the mail from Gail, which is Southern Living. Gail Southern Living. I'm sure that's what it is. She doesn't have her channel name up there. But that's who I'm pretty sure it is. I will open it and find out. It's from North Texas. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. But we're going to find out. I'm opening it up. Let's see. Yes, it is. Gail Southern Living. She's got a sticker made. I really need to get some stickers made. Gail, this is lovely. Wow, it's got it's the big city of or the big state of Texas. And she sent me some zinnia seeds. She sent me zinnia seeds before and they are I've got some that are growing. This will be great. I'll plant these too. Nothing like having more and more zinnias. Thank you very much, Gail. This was a surprise. I um also have a little video I want to put in. I was watching a video earlier today. Who was I watching? I was watching Nancy's Hooked on Crochet and she was talking about earrings and crocheting earrings. I had never crocheted earrings but I did tat some earrings. I needle tatted them and I also did some earrings with beads. I like to do paperwork so the the other earrings are made with be, with um paper and I made a bead and then I added a, a real bead with them and in the the tatted earrings they're owls and I did add earrings to that too or I mean I uh, added beads to that too so let's go to that video I was watching Nancy's hooked on crochet and she put out the question if anybody has ever crocheted earrings I have never crocheted earrings but I did tat some earrings these are little owls that I tatted and added beads to it I also like to do paper art earrings these are earrings that I made out of paper and I put a bead on them and they're just little dangle earrings. Today I was thinking, oh no, she's thinking again. Yes, I was thinking about why people who do YouTube channels keep wanting to change them up or figured out in my thinking is a lot of them are really not as happy as they maybe appear to be. No, my life is like, okay, I'm good. So no worries here. The, I just get a little blue when Jim has to work second shift. And he's working second, second shift, so this is my blue day. I, w I will be blue, but I'm wearing pink, so I'm okay. But why people shake up their YouTube channels? And they start out with um, not their own personalities. That's why they have a hard time keeping up with it. They start out real peppy and real energetic, and they're really not. In their everyday life, they're probably very blasé. And it's hard to keep up the persona. And they're usually pretty young people. They're a lot younger than me. I'm looking at my paper because I've got some notes I wrote down. Let's see, the channel is going, they, they may say, these are things that they may say, my channel is going through a change, or I'm trying to fix it. They're, they're not happy with their content, apparently. Taking a break to take care of family or themselves, which a lot of them have done. I've, I've heard that one um, a lot. Haven't enjoyed and haven't felt happy sometimes. Some of them maybe say that, maybe not. A lot of them don't say that. And they're actually depressed is what the problem is. They're, they're getting, they're falling into a depression. And it's wise that they're noticing it. And you know, you can pull yourself out of that depression if you're in it. It's, it's something that you can do. And they're, it's a cry for help is what it is. These, these little statements that they make are actually cries for help. I can't even read my own writing. I don't know what I wrote there. I don't know. I, I just feel like a lot of times people are doubting themselves when they're making their videos. Just do the things that make you happy. Say the things that make you happy. Don't worry about others. And if they 
find your your information educational and entertaining and informative they will watch it so no need to worry just be yourself and do your videos that's what I think oh and I have to give you an update on the chickens that's my chickens are really what I take care of a lot during the day I am in and out like a yo-yo outside just like my dog my dog goes in and out in and out well today I was out there because I went out to see where that little hen was, the one that the rooster was bothering because I had let her out of the chicken jail. Now she was back in the nesting box. So I took her out of the nesting box and put her into the run several times. And each time I did, she would run right back to the nesting box and the rooster would chase her back. So he was really being not nice. Well, I went out and I threw some chicken scratch into the, into the new chicken coop and about five girls go in there along with the rooster and I'm thinking oh come on girls I want him in there I don't want you girls in there so one by one they would come out I would try to I would coax them out and they would come out but there was one just one hen that just kept kept backing away every time I tried almost got it out almost could scoot behind it and get it out but no she would turn around and go right back in so it took me a little while to get her out. But once I got him all out, I shut the door on the rooster. And you know, he wasn't happy. You could tell he wasn't happy because he wasn't crowing. He didn't crow at all the time that he was in there. Well, then I let him out after a while because I noticed that she was still going to the box. I was taking her out of the box and putting her down in the ground to see what she would do and knowing that she wasn't going to be hurt by the rooster. She still was going back to the box. So I decided, well, I'll just let the rooster back out. So I let him out when I was in the house working on my comments. I heard this terrible noise outside. And I go out, and here he is. He's knocking her in the head with his beak. And she's down, crouched. And so I went out there, and I said, What do you think you're doing, pretty boy? Let's leave her alone. And he backed away. She ran away. And then later on, I heard it again. So I went out, and I said, Pretty boy, you've got to stop that, or I'm going to put you back in time out. He backed away, she backed away, she ran back into the house, but then she came out and he was gonna gonna bother her again. I said, oh, don't you dare. And he looked at me, I looked at him, and he walked away. Thank goodness he walked away. I thought maybe I was gonna make a mean rooster out of my nice rooster who was gonna attack me then. But no, he's, he's backing away. So then now everything is peaceful in the hen house again. He's been leaving her alone, and she's been out with the other hens, eating like she should be eating. And he's been avoiding me, of course. He always avoids me, which is good. It's a good thing with the roosters avoid you, because you don't want them to attack you. I had one that used to challenge me, and that one didn't last very long. But this one is being very good. So I think the few minutes in timeout did him good. He... he learned that he he is out of, not the total control i am the one that's in control so i must be the top rooster of this whole gang of chickens and and the rooster it's so funny well i hope you enjoyed this chicken talk if you're feeling depressed with your with your channel get help and it, and you will feel better things will work out so take care and i'll see you all tomorrow bye bye